Hi everyone, I'm, Name. Today I'm talking about President Joe Biden's plans to combat gun violence with an executive order. Just two months after a mass shooting during Lunar New Year celebrations rocked the community of Monterey Park, California, President Biden is coming forward with a plan to combat gun violence. These plans include increasing the use of background checks for gun buyers and promoting the safe storage of firearms. This order will ask the U.S. Attorney General's office to take whatever regulatory actions are available to get the U.S. as close to implementing universal background checks as possible without congressional approval. This is important, because President has a limited power to enact change without the Congress passing new gun laws. In 2022, the U.S. Congress passed a gun control law that expanded gun purchase background checks on people ages 18 to 21, outlined incentives for states to pass red flag laws allowing individuals to petition courts to remove weapons from people deemed to be a danger to themselves or others, and closed the so-called boyfriend loophole, preventing domestic abusers from owning guns. Though this legislation was the first major legislation on the issue passed in nearly 30 years, it did not go as far as President Biden wanted it to go. The number of mass shootings in 2023 alone shows that it didn't quell gun violence as much as he wanted. The most recent example of this was on January 21, a gunman killed 11 people and injured nine others at a ballroom dance studio in Monterey Park following a Lunar New Year celebration. This was the deadliest shooting in Los Angeles County's history. In the two and a half months of 2023, there have been at least 110 mass shootings in the U.S., according to the Gun Violence Archive. More than 8,300 Americans have died due to gun violence since the beginning of the year alone. These numbers are sad, but unfortunately familiar. President Biden is attempting to make a change with his executive order. We can only hope that this will make a difference and help stop the violence. Thank you for listening and stay tuned to see what happens in the days to come as President Biden works to combat gun violence.